Hello peoples and welcome back to Fran Dazzled. I am Fran and you are Dazzled. Today we'll have a very special video because I just received my House of Siage Harry Potter Hogwarts collection. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. So I'm just going to be going over the notes of each and I'll tell you at the end which house I am according to my favorite scent here. And so yeah, I think it's going to be a super fun video and I'm very excited because this just came out. Stay tuned! So House of Siage came out recently with their Harry Potter Hogwarts collection and it has I got the four samples so of course I went on to spray each of them on different parts of my arms and then I wore one of them to work for an entire day and I very much enjoyed it um, no one else could smell it so it didn't have like a um, great projection but I was very um, I really liked how I smelled the whole day and when I actually put my arm up to people's noses they smelled it and everyone actually liked it. So I'm very um, into that scent. So it's basically Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. And we'll start with Gryffindor because Harry Potter's house is Gryffindor. Noble courage, bravery, and determination. Gryffindor. <clears throat> And the notes, according to the website, top notes, black pepper, tea leaves, black currant bud, heart notes are burgundy dahlia, orris butter, ambrox, and base notes are Indonesian patchouli, Madagascar vanilla, and Chantilly musks. I, do not, do, I don't get a lot of vanilla through here, but to each their own. Um, so on, on the carton thingy, it smells better than on my skin. Again, I think my skin is not the best for all perfumes. It is very pleasant. It does have a little bit of flowery notes, but it's not like, it's not flower flower. It's not obvious that it has flowers because the combination of all the other ingredients sort of balance it out. It, it's, it's elegant. I would say it's an elegant fragrance. I would not wear it to work. I would wear it maybe after work if you're going to go to dinner, a night out. Um, it's pleasant. It's, it's pleasant. Um, it's very nice. Next we have Hufflepuff. Loyal, hardworking, and just Hufflepuff. And then we'll look up what Hufflepuff says. So Hufflepuff, according to the House of Siage website, has top notes of Italian lemon, peach pulp, coconut cream, heart notes of sandbag, jasmine, white freesia, and gardenia, and on the base it has vanilla bourbon, Virginian cedar, and vanilla beans absolute. I definitely get the vanilla. Instead of coconut cream, I get more like a marshmallowy type smell. It's very sweet, but not icky. It is a gourmand scent, but it's wearable. It's everyday wear type thing. At least on my skin, it wasn't too strong. It was nice and balanced, and I did enjoy wearing it. The next one we have is Ravenclaw. Witty, intelligent, and eccentric. You're a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, it's clean, it's fresh. Website says top notes of frozen mint, bergamot essence, petite grain, heart notes of lily of the valley, Guatemalan cardamom, cascalone, base notes of blonde woods, Virginian cedar wood, and white vetiver. On the paper, it smells more green, like herby in a good way. On my skin, however, it reminded me of my high school years wearing um, Calvi Klein 1. 
CK1, so it's an everyday scent. You can wear it anywhere. It could be for adults, teenagers, kids. I think everyone would really enjoy this. It is, in my nose, a unisex fragrance. Very pleasant, very safe for working in healthcare or what have you. Very pleasant, I enjoy it. And last but not least, we have Slytherin. Slytherin. Crafty, ambitious, and resourceful. Slytherin. So Slytherin, um, let's see what it says on the website. Slytherin, in the House of Siyaj website, it has top notes of bergamot, cardamom, shard, grapefruit, heart notes of clary sage oil, tobacco leaf, and black rose, base notes of Australian sandalwood, patchouli, steam, and musks. This is a very nice fragrance. It is more mature in the sense that maybe I wouldn't see a, a kid or teenager wearing this. I would wear this for going out, not for work. It's a little more upscale than just work. And it does project a little bit better than the other smoother ones. Um, the only thing that happened was when it dried down on my skin, it had that sort of cologne type scent that I try to avoid in fragrances. But opening, it's very nice. I wouldn't call it gourmand. It's just, it just says I'm here, you know. I'm here, I have style, I have class, but I'm not for everyone. That's what it says. I mean, you know, Slytherin, but I, I think they, they did a really good job. So overall, all four fragrances, I was very pleasantly surprised. They all smelled very nice in their own way because when I first got the House of Siage, Sweet Atelier collection. I was very disappointed. Let me tell you why. Cream Chiffon, I was expecting more sweet, more gourmand, more like intoxicating sweetness. It's not. It's just like, um, it reminded me of a scent that I wore when I was a kid that, that my parents got me. Then the icy one just smells like a guy sprayed perfume in the morning, went to work, sort of like a white collar job but he was walking around the office a lot that day and then at the end of the day sort of like a little bit of sweat mixed with a little bit of um what's left of the perfume in his shirt i don't know that's the best way i can explain it and then the sweet dreams one i don't really remember what it's not like <laughs> let's spray it yeah this smells like hair product so sweet dreams Ugh. So, the Sweet Atelier, Atelier collection from House of Siage was kind of a disappointing to me because, um, you know, those bottles are so beautiful. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to fall in love with one of them and I will get the bottle. I will have that beautiful cupcake. But I don't think I will because none of these scents inspire me. But with the Harry Potter collection... Guess which one I sh I like the most? Do 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 do. Hufflepuff. Oh my God, it was so sweet, but in such a delicate way. I sprayed it on, let's say, at around six forty-five in the morning. Maybe ten hours into my shift, I could still smell it on my arms. Um, by the time I got out and was driving back home, I could still smell it, uh, the one I sprayed on my neck. During the day, I smelled it, and it's a very personal smell. Like I said, it doesn't have great projection, but anyone that I, anyone that I made to smell me enjoyed it. And so, yeah, it was very nice, and if I do get one of the um, Hogwarts cupcakes, it would be Hufflepuff. Incidentally, one of my very sweet co-workers tuned me into one of these um, websites where you get sorted. And let me see. 
It's www.wizardingworld.com. So you have to register and make an account, and then you click on Get Sorted. Oh my god, and I'm a Hufflepuff. So, who would have thunk? Um, I wanted to do this video as sort of like a sorting hat type thing and all that. But all I have is this hat, which is very cool for Christmas. But it doesn't say sorting hat, so I didn't do it that way. Maybe I'll redo it after this. I don't know. But those are my thoughts on the House of Siage Harry Potter Hogwarts Houses Collection. Thank you so much for watching.